Land is an emotional issue in South Africa, where most commercial farmland remains in the hands of the white minority 21 years after the end of apartheid. The government says only 10% of the land has changed ownership from whites to blacks since 1994. By the government's own account, at least 50% of South Africa's land reform projects have failed. Appearing on VOA's Straight Talk Africa, hosted by Shaka Sali, Bernadette Atuhain, a lawyer and author of a new book entitled We Want What's Ours, Learning from South Africa's Land Restitution Program, explained how she feels about the land restitution situation in South Africa. The level of inequality I saw in South Africa was still just shocking. Uh, and to know that uh, that inequality was a result of systematic land theft uh, during colonialism and apartheid, um, just uh, kind of, uh, it was just an injustice that uh, got under my skin. Land reform problems are not unique to South Africa. Former Zimbabwe farmer Annabel Hughes was asked about her experience as a former land owner. What do you think about uh, what... Um Bernadette is talking about in as far as uh, your southern neighbors are concerned, uh, given that, of course, uh, you do have experience uh, being uh, a Zimbabwean white citizen, uh, you know, from, in fact, from that particular region. I agree uh, with uh, the professor that uh, the ANC are politically invulnerable. But, I, I mean, it's a, it, it's, you know, land redistribution is a pathway fraught with difficulty, you know, you witness Zimbabwe. And to me, as, you know, the solution is devolving it down to private, private ownership of land. Um, and in, in certainly in Zimbabwe's case, it's not in the interest of, you know, any of the political elite to support private ownership because this empowers the individual and then they lose, you know, they fear losing control. In neighboring Zimbabwe, land governorship and ownership are still an issue. President Robert Mugabe has been in power for more than 30 years. His support for the seizure of land from white farmers in 2000 is seen as a key factor in Zimbabwe's subsequent economic decline. Bernadette Atuhain says that as uh, the South African economy becomes more dynamic, security of land ownership has become an acute issue for black South Africans. This inequality that has, that, you know, still exists 20 years later, this extreme inequality is what I mean when I say uh, economic apartheid lives on. Analysts say while the underlying problems of unequal land ownership are common to both Zimbabwe and South Africa, the political and economic crisis that engulfed Zimbabwe from 2000 is unlike anything that currently prevails in South Africa. It's therefore unlikely that South Africa will follow Zimbabwe's example. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.